Okay, so the last video I showed you guys I was using this chest freezer for our little glycol system, pretty cheap. Uh, cooler full of glycol in there, it's actually right there now. It's in there with the pump and it went through the fermenter jackets. Well, try to upgrade a little bit, still kind of ghetto, but here's the window AC unit. It's not done yet. Probably gotta get a bigger cooler. There's that. Gotta put a pump in it. Then I just got done doing this. It's not quite finished. But I'm gonna have the AC unit sitting next to here. Here's the end. It'll pump through here. I got these little solenoid valves from our sprinkler system for one fermenter, another one. Probably need to add more later because we'd like to get some more fermenters around the corner. Comes around here to a valve, leave open, close it, or kind of regulate the pressure with that, and it'll go down and back through. But when we are fermenting, instead of going back around through, it'll come through here, especially because I have that valve shut, it'll stop the flow. And it'll come through these solenoid valves when they're on, through the fermenter jacket, back through, through here, come over, back down, and back into the tank. Hope that makes sense. So what I have here is a control, and then I have it wired into this, this outlet right here. And this is a 24 volt, volt transformer, because I actually bought those and I didn't even realize that they were 20, 24 volt. Luckily we have some at the shop. So this just controls this outlet here, and plug that in, and it turns that on and off so we can control our flow when we need it. So I got that one wired up. I actually ran out of, ran out of stuff. I gotta take this one apart and wire that in for other fermenter. So that's what we're running here. Hopefully we'll get it going. Definitely be going before our next brew day, which will be hopefully next week. So anyway, once that gets finished, hopefully it'll be a lot better and a lot more consistent.